We're talking travel on the Hampton Road Show today, and joining us from New York City is consumer advocate for National Geographic Traveler, Chris Elliott. Good morning, Chris. Well, it's summer, people are thinking about traveling, and you know, sometimes we run into some problems, so planning, it's important, right? Aubrey, first of all, I just want to say I want to go frog gigging too with you. <laughs> okay, we'll um, invite you. It's <laughs> Um, yeah, this the, actually uh, this is one of the busiest summer travel summer travel seasons out there. Probably the busiest we've had in in a generation. A new survey that's out by uh, Allianz Travel Insurance this morning says that a, a hundred billion dollars are going to be spent uh, on summer travel vacations. Uh, that's up. 20% from last summer, and more than half of all Americans say they're going to go on vacations. It's a lot of trips, and unfortunately, a lot of mistakes being made, too. Oh, goodness. So you've got to plan ahead. Now, I love to travel, but I also love to get a good deal, and part of me and my travel planning includes budgeting. So if you're traveling with a family, what's the best way to travel on a budget? Well, the trick is to get really good advice. Most people, uh, the survey that I mentioned said that four out of five people are going to be taking advice from an online website like a TripAdvisor or a Yelp. And um, I have actually advice on that in my book, How to Be the World's Smartest Traveler. And it's especially good for, for families because, you know, families will sit around and, and say, hey, I got a review on this site. What do you think about going here? What do you think about going there? I say that the more of these websites that you look at, the better. You want to go to as many as possible and then cross-reference that with advice that you maybe will get from a trusted travel agent or from a friend that you know. And that way you can avoid the really big mistakes, which is making a booking reservation based on just one piece of advice that you get from one of these websites. That's a real disaster waiting to happen because those websites, you never know what you can trust. So go cast a wide net and go to as many of those as possible. Well, I agree because I know I, I compare and contrast because I want to compare everybody's opinion and factor in mine. What are your top three travel tips across the board, whether it be planning your trip, while you're on the trip, when you get back from the trip? Well, in, in my book, How to Be the World's Smartest Traveler, I talk about the very simple thing that you probably know about, but you forget before every trip. I know sometimes I do, which is to keep a packing list. Um, if you do that, you're going to remember everything. If you pack a little bit in advance, don't wait until the last minute. But remember things like your passport and your visa, especially if you're traveling overseas. If you don't have those things, your trip is going to be ruined. And I can't tell you how many people have called me from the airport and said, hey, Chris, I forgot my passport at home. Can you help me? And often by then, it's too late. And hey, one other thing I wanted to mention to you is travel insurance. If you're spending more than $5,000, you're definitely going to want to consider travel insurance because that can protect you in some of these situations that I'm talking about. One more thing, too, is that, and I can't believe my publisher let me do this, but I have the names, email addresses, and the phone numbers of all the managers for these big travel companies. So if you do run into trouble, you can go and look them up and send them an email directly. And that often is a shortcut to just getting better service. Right. Well, hopefully everyone has a pleasant travel experience this summer. I know that when you hit those unexpected problems, it can really be a downer, especially at the beginning of your trip. But it sounds like planning, insuring yourself if you're spending big money are the ways to go. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.